The model is community development. It's integrated, meaning that we do agriculture, employment, environment, education, health programs, all combined together. We think that's the most efficient way. But it's also a very long-term approach. You know, we are not doing anything. We are not thinking of starting any project unless we have at least 10 years in front of us. You know, it takes time and we are, we are very patient. We want to build with the local people and with the team uh, step by step to make it on a very uh, strong footing. We decided to move here uh, to Cambodia because we thought, you know, we, maybe we can contribute something. We are working very close to Vietnam with the goal of cooperation between the Vietnam team, which has a lot of experience, and the Cambodian team, which is very new. A few people from Vietnam come here to teach the, the Khmer women. Uh, so that they can uh, match the same uh, standards. Th this employment program is so important because as you can see the, during the dry seasons all the fields are barren, there is no crop, nothing, nothing happens. So what we want really is to uh, give uh, employment here in the village so that the woman would be uh, close to the children so we start really from A to Z, that is training the woman, uh, ensure the promotion, the sales, the marketing, etc. We, we have the shops in Cambodia, Phnom Penh, Siem Reap, and uh, in Vietnam, in Hanoi, in Ho Chi Minh, to sell this product. And then the profits from the shops come here back to Rumdul to fund the program. So these, the profits from the shops in uh, Cambodia do fund a very substantial part of the project here. So it's the whole circle. I, I really believe very, very much, and this is a, the whole philosophy of Mekong Press also, is that we are a charity, we are a development organization, but we must be even more efficient, even more performing than business companies, because what we aim at is not more money, is children going to school, it's for people to get a fair treatment, to rebuild the house, to increase income. It must be low cost. You know, they must be able to manage uh, little by little more and more of the project by, their, uh, by themselves. And we will do absolutely nothing unless they co-fund, uh, co-finance part of the activities. I never could imagine that we would be so successful. Now we have uh, 250 staff working between Cambodia and Vietnam and we have about uh, 500 uh, poor women uh, working either as quilters or on the, the other programs, the, the same approach, you know, to give employment to the people so that they can have a better living and uh, ensure a future for their children.